Okay, so um, here we have our Monarch uh, Aircrete Thermal Blocks. And this uh, model here, they're shown on the inner leaf of a cavity wall construction. So here we're combining the structural properties of the block along with the thermal properties of the block. One of the key benefits of them in this particular wall construction is at the junctions. So if we go down here, look now at the floor to wall junction. So we've got all our insulation in our cavity and we've got our floor insulation and we're spending a lot of money on our cavity and floor insulation. But as we can see here, the insulation layer is broken by this block. And if this wall was built with a traditional dense concrete block, we'd have an awful lot of heat flowing down through that block and escaping to the outside. But by substituting the dense block inner leaf with a Manuk Aircrete Thermal Block, we're for providing continuity of insulation across the junction. So this improves the performance by this particular junction by over 10 times. And there's actually seven, eight, nine typical junctions just like this in any um, house where the Manuk Aircrete Block inner leaf um, improves the thermal performance of the junction by uh, reducing that cold bridge. What it also does is increases the surface temperature at that location and that reduces any risk of condensation and mould growth on the walls. So um, that's uh, in this particular bill that's the key benefits of uh, aircrete blocks. The other key benefit of block work in general um, over and above other forms of um, construction like timber frame for example is uh, fire rating. This particular 100 mil wide block has a two hour fire resistance. Um, our other uh, sim solution has a 215 block, five wide block and it has four hour fire resistance. So we're looking at um, structural performance, thermal performance and fire performance are the key benefits of uh, the Monarch Aircrete Thermal Blocks. So we've looked at our um, traditional cavity wall construction with the inner leaf dense block uh, replaced with the Manuk Aircrete block and discussed the benefits of that. The next step forward for that then is um, SIMS by Manuk, which is a super insulated masonry solution. So that's what we're looking at here. So basically, rather than the cavity wall construction, we have a single leaf Manuk Aircrete block. It's 215 millimeters wide. And outside that then we've got an external insulation system and this would be provided by an approved uh, uh, NSA approved um, installer. So essentially the render, the waterproof render on the outside of this um, external insulation system is replacing the uh, outer leaf block work or brick work. Uh, our block layer is laying the aircrete blocks, um, he's doing what he's good at, we're not relying on the block layer to fit the insulation. So the block layer lays these blocks, um, there's half the amount of blocks than there is in traditional wall construction, so he's going to build them twice as quick. When he has that built then, the roof are put on the roof and the windows are installed and the house that inside finishes can, can uh, force fixing can take place then and then the specialist contractor comes along and uh, fits the external insulation on the outside. Um, externally insulating a uh, building is probably the best way to insulate it. Um, you're essentially wrapping your structure in uh, high performance insulation and that gives, um, it overcomes all your thermal bridges uh, by default um, and as well as that uh, you can install or apply whatever thickness of insulation you want on the outside uh, to give as low or as good a U value as you want. Here we're looking at uh, a 215 Manuk Aircrete block with 150 mil of Manuk EPS insulation and that's getting you a U value in around 0.17. If you increase the thickness of this up to 180 mil, our U value is down to 0.15 which is passive house standard and we can go further then and increase the thickness to say 200 mil and that gets you a U value of 0 0.13, which uh, really does future-proof your, your, your home. Um, the detail of the window here um, is uh, very important. This is a passive sill, so it's high-density polystyrene insulation with a resin on it. And simply, uh, once your window is installed, 
uh, and it's overhanging the block slightly with a drip on it, your passive sail sits nicely up behind that and weatherproofs the detail. Um, an alternative then to the passive sail, you can use an aluminium sail as well, which, which is a very good option. So overall, um, a very, very good uh, solution, very good way to, to build a masonry wall. And as I say, it's the next step on from the traditional cavity wall with aircrete on the inner leaf.